He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So we pray to the God who will not leave the job half done as we lay our lives afresh open before God. So I use an ancient prayer. O oh, Jesus, Master Carpenter of Nazareth, who through wood and nails has wrought our full salvation, wield well your tools in this your workshop, that we who come to you rough-hewn may be fashioned to a truer likeness who with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit art one God, now and forever. Amen. And we continue in our prayers for the Church and for the world, thanking God for his great goodness. O God, the Creator and Preserver of all, we pray for people in every kind of need. Make your ways known on earth, your saving health, among all nations. And as we pray for this land, we pray too for those parts of the world without all the advantages of a health service and infrastructure and wealth and particularly at the start of Christian Aid Week. We pray for all those lands where they are working to bring relief to those suffering in poverty, the results of conflict, as well as this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the church, the church in this and every land, that your love may abound more and more, that we might grow in our knowledge and depth of insight and discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ. Lead us in the way of truth. Hold us in the faith and in the unity of the Spirit. Help us to work together in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. And guide and direct all those in leadership within the church in these unprecedented times. And help each and every one of us to find ways of sharing your grace and encouragement and your love around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body or estate. Those known to us those in our community. Comfort and relieve them in their need. Give them patience in their sufferings and bring good out of all their afflictions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember those who have gone before us in the peace of Christ. We give praise for all your faithful ones with whom we rejoice in the communion of saints. And we give thanks and praise for your love stronger than death itself. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
So we rejoice that in all things your love abounds. In all things your sovereign love and will is at work in this world of yours. So merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.